Hey Steve, long time no see. Hey Claudette, how's it going? I'm good. But I gotta say you look a little different. How so? Hello everybody, my name is Steve Ford. Did you enjoy the first part of the lesson? Well, you're going to love this lesson. I'm really going to help you to understand how you can keep the conversation going in English. Roll the clip. The first one is, how's that? How's that? Which means I don't understand or I didn't hear you the first time. How's that? For example, hey there, stranger, can I borrow some bottles? How's that? I was wondering if I could borrow some bottles. What for? I'm going to be making some moonshine. You can clean your car with it. Want to try some? Wow. Woo. No thanks, uh, not when I'm working. You can clean your car with it. What for is what is the specific reason? What for? The next one is guess what? And we use this one when you want someone to imagine the news that they are going to give you. And usually this is good news. For example. Hey Steve, guess what? What? Kate's pregnant. For real? Yeah, and the best part is it's going to be twins. Wow, twins. Guess what can also be used for bad news or when somebody isn't so happy about their news. For example. Hey Steve, did Jake already tell you I'm pregnant? As a matter of fact, he did. But guess what? What? I'm expecting twins. I was really hoping for triplets. Well, maybe you can have more the next time. The next one is showing surprise. We can say, for real? You usually use this with friends. Seriously? No way. If you're afraid which one would be too informal, then I would stay with seriously. No way and for real would be the two ones that I would only use with close friends. Another one of my favorites is get out of town. Get out of town. For real means the same thing. How so means in what way? Why do you think that? For example. Hey Steve, long time no see. Hey Claudette, how's it going? I'm good. But I gotta say you look a little different. How so? It's something about your face. Did you get a haircut? No, didn't get a haircut, no. The next one, short time questions like till when, which really should be until when. But when we're talking fast, we say then what? And last but not least, what now? So till when, for example, could be my student who's always traveling and I'm talking to him as I'm giving him classes as he travels. So I could say, hey, Andre, where are you now? I'm on vacation in Florida. Great. Till when? April 15th, then my visa expires. And then what? I'm going to stay in Mexico for three months. Some months later. My Mexican tourist visa expires tonight at midnight. Well, what now? I'm going to go to Turkey for one month. Well, how come? My girlfriend lives and works there. So now you can do a quiz to see how much you can remember. You can also subscribe to my channel, watch more videos, and I hope to see you in our next English lesson. Bye, everybody.